who, for example, click on the online shop button, buy the 100,000 euro unit, and it says, okay, we are all quantum, and that's state-of-the-art technology. Hey, forget it. It's, you cannot delegate security. You cannot just buy a black box, think it's secure. D don't trust anything which is in a black box, first of all. I think this is, this is really, I think this is anything in, uh, in crypto anyway. So let's, let's summarize what we did. So I think this is the first experimental um, uh, implementation of a quantum key distribution setup with an eavesdropper, where the eavesdropper really get 100% of the key. And um, let's say five weeks ago, let's say working day and night, we were realizing this, this uh, 290 meters, four buildings, kind of really under pretty realistic conditions. This afternoon, I, I told everybody to show up at the talk and to ask nasty questions. And I think we are about there for nasty questions. I think we have five minutes or something like this. So uh, please, I think you can steal the microphone and come up with questions. Thank you. Um, it's quite intriguing what you presented here, I must say. Um, the, uh, the thing that was in my mind all the time, at the end you, uh, you gave that away, say, well, okay, how you're going to... De de the detection is not a problem if the de the Bob knows that he's been detected, right? So uh, if Bob knows that somebody was listening, we throw away all communication. Okay, so um, my, I was waiting for the, for the answer to the question, okay, Bob is looking to his... Uh, 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 voltage on his detector and he knows he's been blinded so okay then you said okay this is not a problem you can work around but in my uh, opinion when the number of flaws in the design is sufficiently small they renormalize to zero and when there's too, too many they renormalize to infinity now the question is have you looked at other say flaws in the uh, detectors or in the design or whatever so you can, can give an estimate of how many of these kinds of things are to be expected, because if their um, number is small, I would say that the, uh, in the, the perfect uh, crypto system is still within reach. Uh, in, uh, in avalanche photodiode based detectors, we know about three different types of flows, each exploitable. And this is a question of technology. Build a secure detector, let us borrow it to our lab, and we try to crack it. If you fail in a year, it's fine, but nobody has built it so far. What's the problem? Surely, surely we, people will make secure components, but it's not here yet, I think. I haven't seen one. More questions. I think... Uh I can uh, tomorrow, I, I make an expl especially explanation for more nasty questions. Over there, someone waving, I see it. Uh, okay, maybe that's not a question, but more comment to the last question, because uh, I was today at the uh, lock picking workshop, and they were talking that it is uh, possible to have uh, the very secure lock with added more... Uh, uh, special keys and very precise uh, pins and so on, but it is very expensive and not everyone will be uh, will uh, want to pay uh, thousands of euros per lock to protect your house. So, so in in case of communications, especially as you said in uh, black box communications, I I am not sure whether my uh, shop I pay with my credit card is using this very secure, very reliable uh, detectors that ca are able to detect whether they are blended or not, or the, uh, the owner of the shop just went and bought the cheapest uh, quantum cryptography system which can, be, uh, which can be blinded very easily. So, so, so that's all I think. Let's say, of course, you have to re still realize this big selling point of QKD, quantum key distribution, is that it's kind of maximally secure. So, but I think this is, I think also a classical crypt, a crypto system can do quite a good job. So, 
more questions? I'm a little bit blinded by the, by the bright light over there. <laughs> Security, quantum security. Let's say, let's say I think uh, if we kind of melt down this whole QKD system, which we were pretty convinced in, I don't see a security proof on the horizon where I say, well, the theoreticians who wrote, write down the equations, who say this is maximally secure, that they really agree to the experimentalists making a nasty attack. I think... I think we are kind of back to classical. I think that's, that's about it. On quantum computation, I think this has not necessarily an outcome because in principle you can, you can think further. But Vadim wanted to add something? Yes, I can add that. I, I personally think that the fact that people are looking for loopholes and trying to crack, crack the systems is the maturity of quantum cryptography. Because this is a natural stage in all secure communication. You try to break implementations, you find loopholes, and then as things improve in several iterations, it becomes harder and harder to crack. This is what we hope will happen to quantum cryptography. People, people will start making solutions, start making protection, and then in some years maybe we, we fail to find a single crack in a QKD system. Then things become fine. Okay, anyway, I think we are kind of approaching uh, 9 o'clock. And uh, I think I invite everybody of you to show up in the bike shed tomorrow. Uh, I think I'm, I hopefully I'm, I'm still able to explain the whole shit over there. So we have all the gear over there, all the, all the, all the funny OLPCs we control the units with. Thank you so much and see you tomorrow in the bike shed. Now. Oh, now. You can come now. We are there now. <laughs>